what's going on guys back with another video man y'all already know who it is y'all seen the title y'all seen the thumbnail so y'all already know what we gonna be getting into today man uh if you're here you're watching the video make sure you like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified every time i drop a video man every single time i drop one you'll be notified but today i'm gonna be um talking about clipping clipping your subwoofer sending the dirty signal to your subwoofers and your amplifier why is it so important to have your game set right and why is it so important to not clip your equipment i've been through a lot of subwoofers and a lot of amplifiers because i wasn't educated enough and didn't know enough about clipping the subwoofer thinking the bass boost with my friend you know turning up everything pretty much and end up blowing my equipment i know there's a lot of people out there that probably in that same boat probably doing the same thing or you know they did the same thing they can relate i do have a, a old subwoofer that i end up clipping to death and i'm gonna show y'all the results of clipping your subwoofer we're gonna break the subwoofer down you know what i'm saying we're gonna break it down we're gonna look at the coil and all that man and we're gonna see the effects of the effects of clipping your equipment man i mean it's still too expensive out here nowadays to be you know what i'm saying not running it correctly so like i say y'all rock with me and we're gonna keep everything we're gonna try to keep video constantly you know but um if you ain't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so it'll be greatly appreciated and if you already subscribed to the channel like i always say i appreciate y'all a thousand percent but with all that said i'm gonna keep the intro short man we're gonna get straight into this man all right guys we back as y'all can see i'm not outside anymore you know it was a bunch of a whole lot of wind noise out there and i ain't want it to affect the video but like i was saying man clipping your soul clipping is when you pretty much send a dirty signal to your amplifier which in turn send a dirty signal to your soul woofer which in turn make your soul woofer get hot hotter quicker it it heats the coil up way quicker than it normally would if you were running you know sending a clean signal to it and when i say a dirty signal i mean a distorted signal they have all type of tools and equipment out there where you can detect detect distortion and you know you have some people out here that can pretty much set an amp close you, they can set an amp close to how it's supposed to be just by the ear it's a select few that can do that say for example like when i was younger i get in my car crank the volume all the way up on the cd player hit the loud button hit the bass boost button and if, if the uh, amplifier do have a subwoofer on uh, selection on it i crank that up you know and the gains on my amp not set right so i get in the car thinking i'm beating down the block thinking i'm doing something then five ten minutes in my subwoofer starting to smell you know what i'm saying my amp may kick off you know anything it's just a lot that goes on with clipping man almost too much to explain to put in the videos i do have this soil woofer i had it for a while you know it was the last you know little setup i had before i got the setup i have now and that soil woofer actually was clipped to death and i'm gonna show y'all why, why i said it like that it was actually clipped to death almost to the point of, to the point of catching on fire it actually looked like it caught on fire <laughs> it's bad y'all that's why it's so important to make sure your gains are set correctly man it's super important man not only because you'll save yourself the heartache the time the money on buying more equipment save yourself from your system catching on fire or anything man because there's a lot of current and a lot of voltage that goes on in that audio system man a whole bunch like i said we're gonna tear this up wolf it down we're gonna break it down i'm gonna show y'all what this up wolf actually look like and hopefully this video helps somebody out there you know because like I, like everybody tell me and i had to learn for myself y'all the gain knob on your amplifier is not a volume knob man if you don't have the correct equipment or have an amplifier that has a on um, clipping indicator light on it i i just recommend going to a shop somewhere where somebody do actually have the correct equipment to get yourself still sat right man because I went through a lot of money and a lot of equipment through the last couple of years, man. And the setup I have now, I had it for a while, you know, and I never had a problem out of it. Okay, let's get into breaking that thing down.
Okay, guys. We got this little wolf and broke down. And, woo-hoo! Let me get y'all closer, man, so y'all can see this. Hopefully, y'all can see all this, man. Try to sit this trap all this, but y'all bear with me. Y'all bear with me just a little bit. And here you see the core. So, this is the result of clipping your soil with a man severely. And as y'all can see, uh, y'all can see that that is burnt. Like, it, it was on the verge of catching on fire. So, you see the slinky? This was once a core. It was once a core. Y'all can see all that up under there, man. It will burn severely, man. So it's very, very important to have your game sit straight, man, and sit right because, like I say, man, this is ridiculous, man. And like I say, when this happened to me, man, I was very young, you know, inexperienced. Only thing I know was put an amp on them, put them in a the box, and turn everything up. That's all I knew, so, you know. We live and we learn, man. But like I say, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but I can give y'all advice from my past experiences, you know what I'm saying? I can try to give y'all the little knowledge that I have so y'all, so this right here won't happen to y'all. Y'all, I mean, come on, man, this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. It really is. But, like I said, Get that some good light. It's super important, y'all. Make sure your game set straight. Make sure your game set right. Because that can mean the difference in buying more equipment or even having your car to burn down, man. Seriously. There's a whole bunch of them that didn't happen to. If you get the set, if you start smelling that burnt electrical smell, bag up off that volume. Get yourself a wolf and try to cool down, then get back on them in about 10, 15 minutes, man. You know, it'll save you a whole bunch of money and time and heartache and hope possibly a whole nother car, you know. So, with that being said, man, they're going to pretty much conclude this video, man, for real. I want to keep this one short and I really just want to tell, you know, give y'all a little, a little knowledge from my experience, man. Because, like I keep saying, I'm not an expert in this stuff and it may be some stuff I did get wrong in it. I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a pro, but I can let y'all give y'all the information that I do know and what was taught to me, what I read, 